gentleman up here. What a driver. Dustin Wall, third place. I think I see Dustin been a little while this year, but it's now coming together at the end. You have to be happy with the podium finish. Yeah, for sure. It's uh, for for me it's it's kinda hurts to say third's the best finish of the year, but We've, uh, we've had a rough go of it, and we are uh, keep fighting, and things are uh, looking up, and uh, hopefully we can carry a little more speed into the last three races. One thing I was going to ask you is, throughout the weekend, one of your biggest challenges has been with a young man named Jordan. Do you guys ever talk about it in the trailer, if you're getting into a tight situation, what you should do with each other, or is it just one for one here? I'm curious, Dustin. Uh, no, it's just you. It's just like racing anybody else. I mean, for you don't, you definitely don't want to run into them because you got to ride home with them. I mean, we don't live anywhere near here, so it makes for a long ride. But we uh, just race everybody the the same, you know, and with a lot of respect. And everybody's done a great job this year. And unfortunately for Ryan, last week got hurt, but that, I think that's our uh, only injury all year in our group. And uh, at, at, it really means a lot to go out and race with these guys that race so clean, and it makes it a lot of fun. One thing I've got to ask you before you get your sponsors, tell me in all honesty, is there a way to be able to get the speed of the Wall Brothers, Jimmy John's team, of what Malcolm's got because what a year he's had? Can you work on it the rest of the year and for next year, or is it going to be a real hard task? Oh, you never quit working, you know. We, uh, there's been years when I've won 13, 15 races a year, and now we're, uh, we're uh, playing catch up, but we, uh, we won't give up, and uh, it's going to be tough to do, but we're, uh, we, uh, we, we don't race because we just expect to win all the time. We race for the challenge, and uh, we got a big one ahead of us to catch up because he's had a couple of pretty amazing years. Some people to thank for the Jimmy John's team. Uh, everybody at Jimmy John's and Polaris, um, everybody here, and why we got this, uh, this whole race is just a blast to come to every year, and we've been here the last, I think, five or six years, and it's fun every time, and they do a hell of a job on the track, and, and uh, accommodating all the racers. Um, just uh, would like to thank Tom and for putting on this uh, great, great series for us on the chase after, and uh, uh, I guess all my crew that's uh, with me every week. I'm really proud of you, and I'm meeting your special team, the special people. Thank you, buddy. Dustin Wall, good job. Second place, but what a show, what a weekend. So proud of him. Carnell Potter! Okay, today I wasn't going to take my eyes off of you. Everybody kept teasing me about yesterday when I was watching Jordan and uh, Joel make a battle and didn't see what you did. I missed it. But today I watched real closely. A little bit harder trying to catch up to Malcolm or what, Cardell? Yeah, it's definitely a little tougher today. Uh, Malcolm ran a great race. You know, we had a lot of fun racing with everybody out here. Like uh, Dustin was saying, you know, everybody's friends out here, and we have fun racing with each other. And, you know, we're not worried to, uh, you know, go in the corner side by side because we know we'll all come out good and safe. So, you know, that's important. Uh, all in all, a great weekend. I had a lot of fun. Uh, learned a lot. That's the main thing each and every weekend. And, no matter how many times you race, you always seem to learn more and more, and that's what's fun about it. I'm curious, with the cooler temps and everything, were you guys making adjustments throughout the day, Cardell? Because in the qualifying, you were running really fast, and your times were right there with Malcolm. Were you working on different things as the day progressed, or did you leave it as you said it from that first race today? Yeah, no, I think, uh, I think everybody's probably making adjustments all day long. You know, we're definitely trying stuff. Uh, trying to improve, um, you know, I think that's a big part of racing, and, and you just got to keep working towards it. So, um, you know, I, I can't say anything. I, I don't know if I'd have done anything different as far as setup. You know, it's pretty good, and, and just one of those days is good, hard race. Some people are paying for miracle racing. I got to give a big thanks to my mom and dad. They put a ton of effort into it and support me. Like you wouldn't believe. Um, my grandma and grandpa. You know, all my crew guys, Rob and Wes, Robert, Jason, all my great sponsors, Donahue Super Sports, Woody's, Earthing, Carlson Advisors, FXR. Uh, you know, it means a lot what they do for me. I am really proud of him, Cardell Potter. Let's hear it again. Good job, TLR champion last year. TLR champion this year. Can I say it from the greatest state around? <coughs> We're not biased. From 
Michigan. Here he is, folks, Malcolm Chartier. What a year, Malcolm. What a year. Yeah, we're, uh, we're having a lot of fun this year, and uh, I really thank uh, all my crew, everybody coming out every weekend. You know, we, uh, we have a lot of fun together uh, on and off the track, so uh, it's definitely been a great memory, and I'll never forget it. I was curious, today, though, were you kind of watching for Cardell? There was going to be no surprises for Team 33, was there? No, definitely. Uh, Cardell, the Wall Brothers, I mean, there's a, there's a handful of guys, you know, the top ten guys are all at it every weekend. You know, you got to stay on your toes, and... And you try to stay one step ahead of them, but it's it's tough. I gotta ask you, you were lapping some traffic, and I was curious, when you get into lap traffic, you don't know what's gonna happen. They're all got experience in that. Did that be a was that a concern for you, Malcolm, or not? It was definitely a concern, yeah, especially having, you know, a lot of fast guys uh, behind you and right on your tail. So you, you really gotta make a count and you gotta make your line stick when you're doing that that type of passing. So uh, fortunately enough, I got through it clean, and, and we can uh, go home one piece. Good thing is you had some rule shots there. You were getting some great start, starts at the start. Yeah, the Woody's traction studs this weekend really hooked up great, and my Rotex power is just uh, keeps pulling and pulling and pulling. Some people to thank for the whole year. Yeah, definitely. I want to thank my entire crew. Uh, first off, my dad, uh, Mark DeBosney, Colby's son, Billy, Greggy, Mikey Hull, Jimmy, Mikey LaFaro, Dan. Uh, and my girlfriend Rachel, Heidi's here, Missy. Uh, thank you guys for coming and supporting me. Fantastic, your champion, Malcolm Chartier. Again, folks, here it is. The three best drivers, pictures. They'll get their pictures. They'll get something from the special ladies, the queen, and give me a chance to hide right now so the queens can go up and do their awards and give them something. Okay, gal. Remember, before you give that to him, you have Dewey go right below the stage. Dewey, you've got to stand right below the stage. Yeah, you do. That's, that's, no. Hold on, you got Dewey go over there. Dewey, get over there. The medals for the... Yeah, Dewey, you got to go over there. Come on, Dewey, you can do it. Oh. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, we, uh, we're proud of this and uh, 